Right, after the uh, problems we're having with the cell log 8 and its uh, erratic alarm output, this was the original relay module that I had, um, and just it was a straightforward um, follower relay, so it uh, went on when the um, alarm output was normally closed um, as an enable signal for the inverter. Um, but you saw that um, uh, having its transition problem triggering multiple times um, near the set point. Uh, the firmware on the cell log 8 has fixed um, the problem where it doesn't reliably come on um, above the set point or below it. Um, but um, mm, that still didn't work very well. So what we've come up with now is an interim fix. Um, which uses a different kind of relay. This is a um, two-way latching relay. Um, so it takes a, a pulse um, and it has two coils, one which will flip um, the, the switch uh, one way and another one, another coil that switches it the other way. Um, so what we have here is um, a enable switch so that when you want to turn the inverter on um, you press this button and it will flip the latching relay into its on position and this green LED comes on um, and then the alarm connector this is the alarm connector goes to the um, cell log um, and we now have to set the uh, alarm state there so that it's uh, normally open and then when an alarm happens, uh, the transistor goes short circuit, closes this contact, um, and that causes the other coil to engage, uh, and that flips the relay into its other stable state. Um, the good thing about this is that um, after that, it doesn't matter if the signal on here goes on and off, on and off, um, because it only needs to trigger once for the relay to latch and then um, it will stay latched uh, in its off position uh, for the inverter input. Um, the LED uses the other pole on the relay, it's a double pole, uh, uh, two-way switch. Um, so one pole just switches the LED on and off for information and the other pole goes to the blue leads out to the inverter as an enable. Um, and then, uh, even if the alarm on the cell log 8 cancels because the voltage rises above the low voltage alarm set point, um, that doesn't make any difference. If the alarm signal goes off here, um, so this goes open circuit, doesn't matter, the relay stays permanently latched until you press the reset button uh, and then it'll come back on again. So here we have our new um, inverter control box uh, with the new circuit in there. Um, the green light is currently on um, and I've set the cell alarm to 3.31 uh, volts. So now if any cell gets down to under 3.31 volts, um, the alarm will trigger on the cell log 8 and the relay should uh, latch in the off state and stay that way until um, we manually reset it. Um, the reset button is here on the side, um, so let's give it a go. Um, I've got the, uh, the load, which is this um, spot lamp in the ceiling. It's got 40 watt halogen lights in it. Um, so I'll now crank up the load and see if the um, cell alarm will start up. Coming up. Now you can see we've got one cell flashing low 
it's at 3.08 uh, 3.308 volts um, and we've got another cell just um, trying to decide whether it wants to go low as well um, and you can see that the um, light has gone off if I try and reset it oh, the alarm has stopped um, if I try and reset it while the alarm is still on nothing happens you have to wait for the alarm to cancel and if I turn the load down now the alarms have all cancelled the cells are all above 3.31 volts and if I press the reset button there you go the output comes back on so that seems to work, um, and uh, we'll just plumb that into the uh, switch on the side of the inverter. Um, there's a three-way switch for its um, off in the centre position, top is on, and the bottom is remote. And we'll just open up that uh, panel and uh, wire this uh, relay as a enable or inhibit signal into that center pin on the, on that switch so that no matter what uh, the inverter will turn off or stay off um, if the alarm is triggered oh, there. the fridge came on and it's uh, triggered the alarm again so it's gone off